Um, so coming back to, to idea how we will work is that um, we will see very short description. It's really, really short description of uh, four project activities. And then we will see how the budget can look like for them. For the, and this is also the, I would say the simple budget, the one of the, the simplest budget, because we have to be aware that each donor, each project can have the, the own budget rules and own budget template, which we will have to, which we will be asked to, uh, to use when we will prepare the project. Do you agree with this kind of work? I see at least two people, so you can agree or disagree. Jana and Alexander. Okay, thank you. It's much more easier when it's the interaction with you. Uh, so I will share. I will share the screen with the description as soon as I will. Okay. So do you see now? For activities yeah thank you for confirmation uh, so we have very uh, let's say not that complicated project uh, we would like to create the the programs about how the programs for teachers how to learn or how to teach about migration based on the history and then uh, test that uh, programs, check if that's working, mm, making the website with the, uh, with the programs, with the syllabuses, uh, and organize the online conference um, to disseminate the project result. So actually the idea is, so, and then we decide uh, that we will have four activities. To, to implement this idea. The first activity is that we would like to prepare these nine scenarios, nine syllabuses, with the programs how to teach about migration based on the history and nowadays situation in three cities, Slovyansk, Kyiv, and Odessa. Uh, and to prepare that uh, programs, that syllabuses, we will invite nine experts from that countries, from different organizations, different institutions, schools, maybe also people with migrant background, which will be responsible for preparation of that materials. Is it clear till now, the first activity? more or less okay then the group of nine experts will work on the activity on the materials on the programs and then the second activity in the frame of uh, of our project will be the testing phase so in the testing phase we have the idea that we will test the scenarios at or in six schools, two schools in each uh, city or uh, oblast. So uh, two schools from Slovenia, two schools from Kyiv, two schools from Odessa. Um, and after this, so we would like to check if that's work because we prepare some syllabuses, we prepare some programs for teachers or educators and now we would like to check if that programs actually work mm. Mm. and after that testing it's a easy way to, to check because we have huge the group of youth there and we can just go for, for the classes and make the uh, the workshops there the seminars there for youth uh, then we have um, the training for trainers. So we would like to invite 45 people 
uh, who are working with youth at schools, in the clubs, um, I don't know, um, in the youth centers, let's say, um, to give them or to that, yeah, yeah, to give them the, the skills and the competences and the knowledge how to use these materials, these syllabuses in their work with you. Um, so 45 people from these three cities will be trained to be the trainer of this topic and using, by using these materials. And then each of them, this is the third activity, after this training, each of them will be asked to provide uh, at least one workshop uh, in their working place, so either in youth center or at school, um, to also check how the materials are working. And except of that, in this third activity, uh, we would like to create a website or sub-website where the materials uh, will be uh, posted as PDF, let's say, or in any other version. So there will be available online uh, for everyone for free. And the fourth activity is the online conferences in which uh, we would like to share the results of the project. Uh, we we'll also would like to have some lectures about the topic of uh, anti-discrimination focused on uh, migration. And also, we would like to share the good practices between the participants of this, on this online conference. And that's all. That's our four activities, four tasks, which we would like to do in the frame of one project. Um, I hope, do you have any question to that? It's written in, in Ukrainian for you to, to write. I explained that in English. Everything is clear. Please just give some feedback if it's clear or not. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so now we have this, this idea in, in our mind and we are going to, to the budget, which is also not that complicated. So usually when we are doing that, uh, we keep the same or we are trying to keep the same structure um, as we have in the description of the project, in the description of activities. So if we will have four uh, activities in the description of activities, uh, then we will have four uh, activities also in the budget to, to, to show um, that they are like similar and they are linked. And what we have in the, in the budget, usually we have the description um of the cost and here we we have to write uh and i saw yesterday it's more or less the same as in, in ukraine so we have to write for what the money will be spent uh, then we have the unique price uh we have here in in the budget in euro but that can be in northern currency uh, then we have the uh, unit so for what we want to how we count that then the number of units and here the total amount for that line budget line and the first activity as you remember was this expert group of nine people who will prepare the syllabuses the materials and we are so thinking just a short question are you already screen sharing the budget form yeah uh because we still see the activities at least um, from my side okay yes. thank you Thank you. I didn't, I didn't ask. Ah. <laughs> now? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm really sorry. I was quite sure that you see what I see and I saw the budget. Um, so now you see the budget, how it looks like. Um, so the description, again, the description, and then the, um, the cost, the unit cost, and then the unit, the number of unit, and the total amount. And we have this first activity, nine experts who will prepare the, the programs. 
and now we are thinking, okay, so how they will work and for what we need the money. And we figure out that we would like to have two meetings of the experts, the one in the beginning, where they will meet and discuss how the program should look like, and the second, uh, let's say, like midterm evaluation or midterm meeting, uh, in certain point when some of the proposal ideas will already exist, uh, we would like to meet again to discuss the way how we prepare that, what uh, is the, the object, what is the aim, what is the objective and the results of each program, and to check if we agree, all of us agree uh, with that. So for this activity, for this preparation, we need the money for uh, food and accommodation of experts uh, for the first meeting. And then we also can write that is 12 uh, people for two days. 12 people because we have nine experts and we have three coordinators of that project. It can be also nice to add that here. For instance, for someone who will check the budget, why we have uh, 12 people here instead of nine experts. So like nine experts plus three coordinators. And we have the, the amount of uh, 70 euro per person per day, which is written here. So the number of you need, it's 12 because it's like 12 people for two nights. And here we have the total amount for this line. Uh, then we figure out that it would be good to have the travel cost, to reimburse the travel cost of the um, experts. And it's 50 euro for person, and we have 12 per uh, person, which gives us 600 euro. Uh, then we have this mid-term meeting, let's say, for the experts. And the, the costs are the same, so food and accommodation uh, for, um, for people the same uh, amount the same like you need the same number and then the travel cost mm. then we have um, the uh, office supplies uh, which will be needed for preparation like flip chart uh, paper pens uh, whatever uh, we, we files whatever we will need for that to prepare the in the meeting because we need something to write on and to, to print and we figure out that it's uh, 55 euro for both of the wow. meetings. Yeah. Um, then Заработная плата экспертов. Uh, counted in different ways. Uh, usually in Poland we used uh, the unit of uh, hour, so we count the um, the number of hour uh, which will be needed to to prepare something or to um, fulfill the contract. When it's the, like for instance, when we are talking about training, it's quite easy because we know that the training will last uh, six hours. Uh, so the trainer will work, uh, expert will work for six hours and will earn 50 euro per hour, 100 euro per, per hour, which gives us 600 euro for the training. Uh, here, when it's about this, this programs, we discussed what will be the, the best uh, unit to, to, to count that and we went to the point that the best will be to pay for the program, mm, to, to pay for uh, the thing which will be prepared because we don't know how much hours each of the person will need uh, to prepare actually that uh, that program sometimes can be the, the most fair, let's say, way of doing that is also discussed, but um, it will be the, um, the remuneration based on the prepared program, and it's 1,000 
euro for that program. And we have nine of the syllabus programs, which gives us 9,000 euro in total. And then we wrote uh, that we would like to publish the, the syllabus on the website or sub website. So this is the cost of preparation, the website. And also, as that will be available online, uh, we would like to take care about the graphic form of that. Uh, so we need the person who will do that, who will do, like who will edit that and prepare that for posting or publishing uh, as a PDF or any other form on the website. Uh, so this is the, the salary of the person who will do that, who will take care about the <coughs> graphic uh, side of the um, of the syllabuses because we don't want to post it, like we don't want to paste that to Word and publish that as a Word uh, document. We would like to make that in a really nice, nice way. And this is like 400 for the whole contract. So again, um, for the thing which will be uh, done. And then we have the, the second activity. Uh, we, the second activity was this testing uh, workshops. And for the testing um, workshop, we have here the, the salary of the people who will facilitate the workshops, the trainings. And again, in this phase, we didn't know or we don't know how much hour that will take. Uh, so we choose the way, like we choose the unit of like workshop and that will be 100 euro for each workshop. Uh, we have, um, nine workshops and it would be nice here to, for instance, um, add, will be like two person per, no, it's not, it won't be two person per workshop. It will be 18, 18 workshops in, in total because we have six schools and three region in which gives us 18. Um, so we have 18 workshops, each workshop is for 100 uh, euro and the total amount. And then we have this uh, office supplies for the workshops because again uh, we think it's always good to have at least small amount of money even if we think okay 180 euro in total budget it's really not a lot of money and maybe we can survive without that. Uh, but then from where should we take the money if we don't have our own financial um, finances in the organization account? Then it's, it's, it's good to, to think also about the small things. And we said, okay, maybe we have to print something for the workshop or we have to uh, buy some flip charts because not, in, not all schools have it or some markers or maybe we will need some, I don't know, candies because some workshops will be based on, you know, there will be some tasks based on candies or in using candies. So we, 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 ha we need some small money for implementation of this testing, um, testing workshop. And that, that, that does, that are the, the whole cost when it's about the testing phase because that will happen at school so we don't have to pay for renting the, the rooms and also we won't pay for uh, the travel of the experts because we think okay this is included to the, the the general let's say salary for them yeah Gosh, uh, there is one question that was uh, given in the chat i would like to ask pablo so you will use your microphone to ask it directly so please, I, I think it just relates to the activities that we are now commenting. Павло, якщо можете, будь ласка, задайте своє питання, чи докажте мені. I cannot see chat when I share the screen. Так. Я просто хотів спитати, що таке тестовий воркшоп і все. Ah, okay. 
Тобто це не має відношення до бюджету, просто цікава форма. Окей, thank you for the question. When we prepare the the materials, when we prepare the the let's say educational materials or the teaching materials for students and for youth, and we created that from the beginning. Uh, we have this first phase and the first activity in which the experts are responsible for preparation and for creating these materials. But then we have to test if they are working as we thought it will work. Because we prepare that on the paper, but then we would like to work with the group of people and with this group of people just go with these uh, scenarios. 